the primary question I'm asking, which or what should proceed what? Should it be a constitutional amendment proceeding before we consider an affirmative action bill that sits well with the 1992 constitution, or we want to pass an affirmative action bill, probably not too sure that some aspects of the bill may offend Article 1-2 of the Constitution. Strategies in relation to employment, and it reads, promote the employment of pregnant women, even the wedding, promote the employment of pregnant women. Why? If you were already in employment and you are pregnant, you can be protected. But if you were pregnant, and we say that, Mr. Speaker, pay 32, promote the employment of pregnant women, how do you promote the employment of pregnant women? So even when we come to it, by this provision, you are saying that pregnant women should be employed. What is even more worrying is that in this bill, in this bill, they refer to independent constitutional bodies. Which are the independent constitutional bodies? The Auditor General, Electoral Commission, National Commission on Civic Education, Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice. These are all independent constitutional bodies. And Mr. Speaker, I just take you to National Media Commission and page 27 of the uh, bill. Mr. Speaker, it reads, the National Media Commission shall take appropriate measures to ensure that, Mr. Speaker, these are my words. No, these are the words in the report. Women are portrayed positively in the media. And that stereotype, so you cannot put this in this law, in a law, and say that a media house has a duty to portray a woman positively. The woman must merit positive reportage if she behaves positively, like any other man.